OK, Chelsea have beaten Sheffield United uh, 3-0 in the FA Cup fourth round. It wasn't a great game. Um, out of the three games this weekend, I think this was the least exciting. Uh, and you can put that down to Sheffield Wednesday's tactics. They they were very negative. Um, and, and I will discuss how negative their tactics were at the end of the video. Let's have a look at the goals. Uh, Williams' penalty uh, was rightly given by VAR, and we can discuss the VAR articles in the video, but a well-taken penalty. Um, they had, had a VAR decision down the other end, which was also correct, um, but they had a shaky moment with the penalty decision gone to VAR with the Sheffield Wednesday, two minutes before, and, and they'd been exposed a little bit with a bit of sloppy play, and, and Sheffield Wednesday had a few chances at this point. Um, so they gathered themselves, got up the other end, got a penalty, William slots it away. Very well taken penalty by a very, 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 very good player. Um, and then I was a bit disappointed with Chelsea after that, after that because Wednesday were rattled. They were clearly frustrated with the VAR decision that went against them um, when they had the ball in the attacking end, when Ampadu actually pulled off a very, very good tackle, a risky tackle, but a very well-timed challenge. And Chelsea had an opportunity to, to put this game to bed before half-time. Uh, Higuain was doing all the right things that you want from a big, burly centre-forward. He was closing down when there was a back pass to the keeper. He was putting pressure on the defenders. He was making the runs coming coming towards the play and running deep. And he did have a couple of little chances. Did Higuain? He played very, very well. For a guy who hasn't played for two, three weeks because of the uncertainty about his future, first game, he's only been with the side a couple of days. First game, he did very well. Um... But Chelsea themselves did not get enough crosses in the box. They were trying to pass it too much. They were also allowing Wednesday to reform, slow the place of the game down. If they were to go up Wednesday, they'd have ripped them to pieces at this point because there was a 10-minute spell where Sheffield Wednesday were, were looking very, very rattled. Half-time comes, and I think Wednesday needed half-time to come sooner before Chelsea. The thing was, Sheffield Wednesday were so negative in their tactics. It it was They literally parked the bus. It was, it was, it was a bank of five, a bank of four, and, and Glenn Murray up front. It literally was passed through us. And and Chelsea were not quick enough with the ball. They were very sloppy as well, too lackadaisical with the back four. I mean, Ampigu played quite well, always looking to go forward. If he couldn't go forward, he would pass to a player in space, reset and start again. But for the most part, Ross Barkley didn't do enough. Um, uh, for, for me, he just didn't do enough. He hasn't warranted the price tag that they paid Everton for him. Um, he hasn't done enough as a Chelsea player. Uh, the promise he showed at Everton has not been realised at Chelsea. Um, this was a game for Eden Hazard, I think, but of course the, the Cup semi-final in the League Cup in midweek against Tottenham, players would have to be rested. Callum Hudson's Doyle's goal, though, came after a, a spell of raised spit pace of the game. The game had sped up a little bit and Hudson's, uh, Hudson Odoi's finish was very good. We don't know what's going to happen with his future. Obviously, Bayern Munich are interested. He has allegedly handed in a transfer request, but his finish, he takes it on one foot, brings it onto the other foot, bang in the net. And that was a very, very well taken goal by Hudson Odoi. Um, if Chelsea do work out a way to, to keep him, he needs to play more because he is still a raw, unfinished article. And he, he, did, he was sloppy in possession a few times. And his final ball with the box isn't always the best, but he's willing. And I think. He wants to play and develop. Now, he is young. Bayern Munich have shown interest. He wouldn't be the first English-born or trained player to go to Germany in the last couple of years if he is to go. Watch this space with Colin hudson Adoy. Um, he's very well thought of. And he has won the FA Youth Cup. And he has won the World Cup uh, under 17 level with England. He needs game time. Uh, Williams' second goal in 18 minutes. At this point, Wednesday had opened up a little bit. Um, they brought on Forestieri uh, to help Murray up front. But I think it was too little too late by that point. Um, They've been too defensive for too long, chasing the ball around aimlessly. And we can discuss their possession stats at the end. But uh, Williams' goal, Wednesday had run out of steam by this point. Um, and it was a very, very well taken goal. Um, and even after the third, they were still pushing for the fourth. Giroud had come on to replace Higuain. He tried an overhead kick. Um, Admittedly, I think he hit it with the wrong foot. If he hit it with the other foot, uh, that's going on target rather than off target. But they were pushing for a fourth. I think Wednesday's tactics, I think they were the wrong tactics to have. We saw when Bradford City had beaten Chelsea a few seasons ago, 4-2. Um, they weren't expected to win. And they were like, sod it, we're not expected to win. Let's have fun. And they put four past a decent Chelsea side that day. Um, I will say Chelsea were a little bit... I think, yes, you could tell the squad depth has been tested with the two cup games this week. Um, very short turnaround as well between a cup semi-final 
and a cup fourth round game. You could tell that, yes, the squad depth had to be rotated. Some players were looking a bit leggy. Uh, they had to make a lot of changes. There were some fringe players playing in this game as well. You don't get a lot of game time. Hudson and for example. Um, but they didn't get out of second gear. Now, the VAR. <coughs> the, the Chelsea goal, first goal, was a VAR penalty decision. That was correct. It was a late tackle on Aspilicata. Um, a nasty tackle as well. Um, and it should have been a booking. I'm not going to lie. It's, the ball's well gone. The player's got in. He's caught him late. Uh, on the ankle, uh, studs showing. That should have been a, a booking. wasn't, but the VR decision was correct. Now, a few minutes before that, Wednesday had gone down the other end. Uh, Ampidou looks like he's brought down a Wednesday player. He's actually pulled off one of the best covering tackles I think you'll see this season. And the referee has pointed to the spot. But then the VAR has said, no, it's a penalty. But the length of time for the first one was a bit concerning. I wasn't sure if he'd not given or given the penalty. It took a couple of minutes. Both VAR, VAR decisions were correct. This is how you correctly use VAR. The time the time taken on the first decision was a bit long and it could be sped up. It was obvious that Amplitude had got the ball off from the first replay. I don't know why they'd need to see that replay from 10 different angles. The first replay summed up the, the lads got the ball and a very, very good covering, retreating tackle there. But both VAR decisions were correct. Everton fans will be ripping their hair out with me saying that. Possession stats, this tells the story about why A, this game was was a bit dull for about 60 minutes. Uh, around the goals, interesting, and a brief spell from Wednesday in the first half. But overall, the possession stats were Chelsea 80%, Wednesday 20%. You, t- you can't win a game with 20% of the ball. You're going to be knackered by the time you get the ball, which is what Wednesday found out. They barely troubled... Uh, Willy Caballero and goal, a, goal, a goalkeeper who is known to have mistakes in him when he's not played regularly and he, he doesn't play regularly. If, he's, if Willy Caballero is going to run inside, he's a very, very competent goalkeeper, but he's known to be a bit calamity prone when he's not regularly played. They didn't test him at all. Not good enough. Uh, Chelsea had a lot of the possession, but a lot of that was aimless, slow, slow passing around possession, no cutting pass. And players like Barkley um, weren't doing enough they could have charged at the Wednesday defence and that would have made the Wednesday defenders have to make a decision to tackle or to cover the space. They were too slow and methodical in their passing. That's something that Chelsea needs to look at. That's some of the criticism I have for Chelsea. Overall, a solid result. But the VAR, again, is a talking point. in the, the, All three televised games on the BBC, the VAR has been a talking point, either the lack of it or the use of it. Uh, the Man United-Arsenal talking point. as a flashpoint near the end of the game. Should have been red cards for players given yellow cards. Okay, uh, no VAR last night in the Millwall Everton game, which would have ruled out a goal. And the VAR tonight actually working perfectly. So we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of VAR, the VAR debates weekend. Uh, but overall, Chelsea deserved the win because they actually wanted to attack. Wednesday were just quite happy to sit there. But once the first goal goes in, this defensive posture doesn't work. When the second goal went in, that was it. Because Wednesday had shown nothing at that point. They had only had 20% of the ball. They are already exhausted after 64 minutes. It doesn't matter if you bring on Forestieri to be a bit spiky. There was no attempt to get forward at any point. Apart from a brief spell just before the Chelsea penalty. There was a, a five-minute spell where Wednesday were actually counter-attacking pretty effectively. But apart from that, they did not deserve to win. And a cup run would do Sheffield Wednesday the world of good. It really would. Uh, I'm very disappointed with Sheffield Wednesday considering all the off-field issues and the money issues the club have had. A cup run would have done the club a world of good. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. If you're a Chelsea fan, congratulations. You've won two cup ties um, in a week. Uh, you're into a cup final of the League Cup uh, and you beat Tottenham and, and you're through to the fifth round of the FA Cup as well. There's a reason why Chelsea are, are a good cup side. They may sometimes struggle in the league, but as a cup side, they have a chance of winning two domestic cup trophies and obviously a European cup trophy as well. Do not count this side out for three drives this season. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.